In my opinion, that's the key to fundraising. And it's the key to offering the programs that we do because when you're operating as a not-for-profit, the whole goal is and the key is to maximize all those program dollars that come in, so all that donor money, to make sure as much, if not all of that, does the program that you're providing. Therefore, then the goal is to run a lean, mean machine, which includes volunteers, which includes groups that help you. We have groups of people that help plan and execute our events. We have groups of people that come and um, just volunteer at events. We have uh, volunteers and interns and people that come into our office and help. The resources are out there um, to get the groups and the partnerships together. But personally, my philosophy is, and the reason when I came on board that I talked to the actual board here and I said, what I'd like to do is come in with a sense of collaboration with everybody. Like, if we have a sponsor that helps us pay for an event or gives us a certain amount of money, how can we help you? It's not just a give, take, give, take thing. It's a back and forth, I think. So when you focus on collaboration and you develop partners like that, then those partnerships survive because you know you get something for what you give. And we're hopefully going to be collaborating with other groups that do what we do. Um, other not-for-profits in town, there's a group of 10 of us that get together regularly, the directors of these not-for-profits. And there's, a, there's sort of a, a move afoot, I hope, to say we have them, we, we have somebody at this time of their life, there's another group that might have them at this time, and then maybe somebody gets into a domestic violence situation, here's where you can help, this group over here. And so if we communicate and we work with these partners, and we develop these collaborations, then we can so much more efficiently serve the people of the Ozarks. And so my hope is to do that. I don't think our groups have in historically either combined efforts or just kind of agreed to I'll get along over here, you get along over there. So just to know what each other does and know where those areas of overlap are or where we can work together potentially, those are the kinds of things I think that really move our community forward.